Welcome back to another episode on Hollywood Hits, where we delve into the latest buzz in the entertainment sphere. Today we've got some sizzling gossip on Jojo Siwa and the controversy she's currently embroiled in. Stick around because this isn't a story you won't want to miss. Before we begin, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Kicking things off with the drama surrounding Emma Chamberlain's Valentine's Day collection for Chamberlain Coffee. The trouble began when Emma teased the limited edition collection with a retro-themed photo shoot. Fans were all over it, until creator Miranda Morris accused Emma's team of ripping off her Valentine's Day series. Miranda pointed out striking similarities between her Day 2 photo and one from Emma's shoe campaign, even sharing her reference photos for comparison. Chamberlain Coffee didn't take the accusations lying down. They released behind-the-scenes footage from their campaign shoot, dated January 9, proving it was shot before Miranda's Instagram posts went live. They claimed the timing was purely coincidental and denied any knowledge of Miranda's series. The internet was divided, with some defending Emma and pointing out similar photos on Pinterest, while others remain unconvinced. Now, let's switch gears to the unexpected feud between Jeff Wittick and Howie Mandel. Jeff addressed Howie's Instagram post that seemed to mock him, voicing his uncertainty about Howie's intentions. Jeff hesitated to appear on Howie's podcast, fearing it might focus on his legal issues and past connections. It's a peculiar situation, given the unlikely pairing in this drama. Moving on to Jojo Siwa, who recently surprised fans with her revelation about wanting kids in the near future. This is a significant shift for the former child star who has just embarked on independent living. The internet was a buzz, especially when Trisha Paytas criticized Jojo for supporting controversial figures like James Charles and Colleen Ballinger. Trisha Paytas didn't hold back. Offering a thought-provoking critique of Jojo Siwa's recent statements, Trisha suggested that Jojo might not fully grasp the complexities of adult relationships. Trisha raised concerns about Jojo's affiliations with James Charles and Colleen Ballinger, both of whom have faced controversies. Trisha questioned whether Jojo's support for controversial figures was a sign of a deeper issue, a potential lack of understanding about the nuances of right and wrong in certain situations. Drawing from personal experiences, Trisha empathetically pointed out that Jojo might not have had the chance to fully develop the nuanced understanding of complex adult dynamics. This critique aimed to highlight the potential influence Jojo holds, especially among her young fan base. Trisha urged Jojo to be more discerning in her associations, considering her role on a major network television show, where she recently stepped in as a judge, replacing someone removed due to allegations. Trisha's perspective sparked a broader conversation about the choices celebrities make and the influence they wield, especially when it comes to endorsing or supporting individuals who may not align with a positive public image. As the internet buzzed with discussions, Trisha's critique served as a reminder that being a public figure involves navigating a delicate balance between personal relationships and the potential impact on a larger audience. Jojo Siwa didn't take the critiques lightly and decided to address the controversy on a podcast with Colleen Ballinger's sister, Rachel. In this candid, in this candid conversation, Jojo reaffirmed her love for Colleen, emphasizing the strength of their bond. However, the controversy surrounding her support for figures like James Charles was still on everyone's mind. Jojo acknowledged the criticism but stood her ground, expressing her belief in separating personal relationships from professional associations. She defended her choices, stating that her friendships were based on personal connections and experiences rather than public opinions. Despite the controversy, Jojo seemed resolute in maintaining her support for those she considered friends. The podcast also shed light on on Jojo's journey into adulthood, touching on the challenges of managing responsibilities like leases, renter's insurance, and utilities. She openly shared her experiences, admitting that adulting was more complicated than she initially thought. This insight into Jojo's life beyond the spotlight added a layer of relatability to the young star. While Jojo's response didn't necessarily resolve the controversy, it provided a glimpse into her perspective and highlighted her determination to navigate the complexities of growing up in the public eye. As the conversation around Jojo Siwa continues to unfold, one thing is certain. She's on a journey of self-discovery, and the world 
is watching closely. And there you have it, folks, the latest scoop on Jojo Siwa and the tangled web of controversies surrounding her. What do you think about the Emma Chamberlain drama, Jeff Wittick's unexpected beef, and Jojo Siwa's surprising revelations about wanting kids? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exclusive content. Stay tuned for more fire content, and peace out.